Hi you guys, it's Kimberly. I um, am making some embellishments. And this is what I've made. I made some of these last night. Well, actually, I made most of these last night. Let me pull out the ones that I've made. This is where I keep all of my embellishments. And as you can, some of these were sent to me. I did some embellishment swaps, and so that's where I got like these ones in the bags here. And um, I haven't used most of them yet because it's really hard for me to use some of the stuff that I receive in Happy Mail. I just tend to hold on to it. But these are um, mostly the ones that I've made. I, I'm really getting down. This thing is usually full, but I haven't made embellishments in a while, so I decided to make some. And so this is what I, I started making these ones yesterday, and I think that they turned out really cute. Let me lay them out here and you can take a, I'll zoom in for you. I started out with these purple ones because I had I had cut out most all of these die cuts a while back and um, I just keep them stashed in here so there's a closer look at them they ha all have um, godly sentiments on them because I use my illustrated faith words like this on them and so um, that's what they look like I was I have some more of this black and white striped paper and I really like the way these came out but now my Cricut is acting up so I haven't been able to print any more of the black and white this is one of the first ones I made and I wasn't real happy with it but I didn't stop I mean it's okay are you going to focus? There you go. But I wasn't thrilled with it. And then there was another one that I did that I wasn't real happy with. Um, I don't know where it is. I saved it, but it wasn't my fave. The first two, usually the first two I make, I'm not really super happy with it, but... They get better, so don't give up on yourself. If you make something that you don't really like, then just keep going. Eventually, you're, you'll get into a groove. So then this is that paper that I did that one journal with. And with the scraps, what I did is I just cut out some of the words. And these are all um, pre-cut die cuts that I had already previously cut out on my Cricut machine. So I just started putting them together, and those all came out really cute. And I inked around some of the edges. Some of them have black, and then like the this these were all white hearts, and I just inked around them with my pink um, color box chalk inks. See, they're white, and so those came out really cute. And then the same here, these were just white. And then I used chalk box inks on them and layered. I layered two different size hearts, backed them with some just scrap paper that I cut into rectangles, and then put um, words on them. This one I chalked with some black ink. They're all a little bit different. This one has three layers of some glitter paper. And then these guys are tiny. Okay. So then these are the ones that I started doing just now. This one is the one I did first. So today what I did is I just took some regular um, book pages. Let me show you get to my book. This is that book that I got at the Dollar Tree. And what I do is I just 
find a full page of text. Rip it out. And this is a good thing to do if you don't have a die cutting machine. You can do this with all sizes of your hearts. Sometimes I just do this even with a die cutting machine because I personally I like to trace and cut so this is enjoyable to me. But I'll just trace, especially when I'm have today I've had nothing but computer problems and problems with my cricket, so to relax myself and to calm down from those problems I'll just trace and cut. And I trace. Okay, so then after you get them all traced on there, you just cut them out. the rest of those out later. My hands get my hands are good at roughing again. Okay so on this one I didn't ink any of the edges and I'm just gonna leave it that way because I like it. But you could ink the edges if you wanted to. I can this one that I've been using as a template I think I'll go ahead and use this. So I'm just going to take some glue. So if you don't have um, hearts that have the scalloped edges, that's okay. I made a few that don't have the scalloped edges. So if you don't have um, a die cut or you don't want to hand cut scallops, which in one of my videos I show you how to hand cut scallops if you don't have a die cut machine. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of my cutout heart from my book page. I'm just going to add it to this, which was kind of silly of me because that's the same size. Let's find one that's different. Hopefully I have some. Yeah, here's one. This one's white. And it's a little bit bigger than this one. I cut these out all different sizes. That's a nice thing about their Cricut. You're not um, you're not just stuck with the sizes of the die cuts themselves. You can size it to any shape that you want or any size that you want, which is nice. So this one is more, is the same size as this one. And so is that one. So I could, you know, just pick out a whole bunch of these. just do a whole bunch at a time or I could just go ahead and decorate them um, one at a time whatever you prefer I don't really have a system for it it's just ha whatever or however I'm feeling at the moment a couple of these.
I'm not having problems with my Cricut itself. I'm having problems with Adobe Air, which reads um, Provo Crap craft room which is the program I use to print things from my Cricut from my computer to my Cricut and there's something going on with the communication so um, Provo is working on fixing that right now so I'm just using what I have in my stash at this point Which is good. It forces me not to cut out more. It's forcing me to use what I've already got. Brooke made a covered notebook. I'll show it to you here in a second. the same. That center just to put it out. Okay, so that's a good start. So I'm just going to put those aside. And these are my little cut up pieces. And I'm not real particular about matching up the colors because I think the colors that I have in these are, they all go pretty well together. So this has some directional lettering on it, so just paying attention to that. And I might want something a little bit longer than that piece. layering this up. Okay. So these are just like super simple. You could add more to them if you wanted to, but I just I just wanted to keep them as, you know, simple. I didn't want to add a whole lot to them. This one, I think I'm going to put this heart over to the side. Like that. I do have all different kinds of papers in here. Maybe I'll unbury some of them. Like I said, these are just scrap papers. I have tons of scrap paper, especially since I was making those notebooks. Just making those notebooks, you do have a lot of scraps left over, so. 
Um, I just grabbed some scraps from the top of my scrap bin and cut them up. So there's that one. Okay, and then let's make one that's not all centered. Find a little bit of heart. Here, how about we use a white heart? Girls are in the craft room today too crafting. Center this one. So we'll put one going that way. And I think I'll use this one. So the whole family's home today. Even the cat's getting into it. Scott had to stay home because his foot. Just got back from the doctor's office. So he's elevating. Haley's hand is still swollen, so. She's taking Benadryl. And elevating. <laughs> this is a cute little heart. I cut these out of some paper scraps too. This was some homemade paper that I made with stamps that I had left over. I'll stick that up there. And we'll stick this one on there. You can stick as many as you want on here. Maybe I'll put one more small guy on here. You also flag the ends of your paper too. Let's cut out another word. This one says by Grace alone. Yep. These tiny word stickers are by a um, company called um, Illustrated Faith and when I um, bought them before I began to use them what I did is I copied them on my copier and then uh, well I scanned them and so now they're just in my computer so anytime that I need more of them I just print them off 
Okay, and I don't sell these. I give them away. If I was to sell these, then I definitely would buy them. I wouldn't be decorating these with um, copied stickers. I would definitely do the right thing and purchase them, but since I give them away, um, there's not a problem with me copying them. If I was making a profit off of them, then yes, definitely you wouldn't want to, to do it that way, but I don't sell these or include them in anything that I sell. these ones a little bit different. We'll use these hearts from this decorated paper as our background. Sorry guys. Working close to my body. Scott's playing with the dog. And then we can see if I've got some Most of you don't mind the background noise. I've had a couple of people say that the background noise annoyed them, but I can't help that because I'm in, I'm in my house and I share my house with other people, so there's going to be background noise. And um, if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but I can't ask my family to to be quiet that wouldn't be right this is their home as well so So we just had to run to the doctor's office, and we had to run to the pharmacy, and now we're back home. It's hot out, not terrible, it's doable. We got a pretty good rainstorm yesterday, and it really cooled things off. Happy doggy, happy doggy. Which is always nice. When things cool off. So these ones are going to look quite a bit different. And I don't know that I really wanted this one to look so much like the other one, so we'll just put another layer. I thought that I had grabbed another piece like the one on the card next to it here. Oh, I think I did. I grabbed it and put it back down, maybe. That's okay. We'll just put another one on there. Okay, so now I need some words. These ones might all be kind of long. Here, we can do pray, prayer. Haley, what did you make today? Uh. Can I not finish it? I don't finish it.
shit yet. So this is Haley's hand. Here, put your other one up here. So see, it's still swollen, but it's just a local reaction. So the only thing we can do is give her Benadryl and we put calamine lotion on it and she's keeping it elevated as much as you can get a child to elevate it. And then ice occasionally, but it's just a local reaction. So, you know, she just needs to quit trying to be friends with the oh. wasps and bees. Yes, because I be in by one. Wait, come on. And then let's do lift my soul. That a little bit more even. So Haley, you're making a sign? Yes. You're making a sign for your mom? Yes. And now I'm making a book for my mom. Can I think I show um Okay, so that's those two. Is the camera focusing? I can't tell. Okay, so Brooke wants to show you her book. Okay, show them. Oops. Hey, explain to them what you did. Um, this panel is smoking. No, not berry. Blueberry? Yeah, blueberry. Okay, so here was blueberry. And this bell and this bell. That just says strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake says. And what did did you use for your closure? Uh, a box for the. And what kind of a closure is this? A tag. Uh huh. Did you put anything on the back? Is this your composition book? Mm hmm. Um, this, I should do it upside now, but I should work it. Cool. And that's the spot if everything got stick in. That's for sure. Oh, and you put a pocket. And it goes. This is. Camera? I don't know what her name is. Who is. Red belly. Uh, orange. Orange blossom? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you for showing us. I'm actually going to show for, for why, how I make this. Oh, okay. I actually need a can of now because I actually know what that is. But you can't pin it out while you're doing my video. Okay? Yeah, well, I need to finish my video right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me get Can I think I'm going to use a book right up there? I'm going to use Okay, I think I got two here. Maybe. <laughs> 
I should have put that underneath. sticker here it says God and I think I'll put inside the heart like that and then maybe have these little ones All right, you guys. Oh, we have one more. Let's do this one real quick. Let's put some color in this one since it's kind of all one color right now. We'll add some pink. Oh, Mama, can I show them this little ranger? Yeah, show them. What is it? Grandma, it's one Grandma Mom book. And Rama Rome. This one is my best little guy. It looks like a Pac Man. A Pac Man? Do you know what a Pac Man is? Mm. This way, like a kind of game. Yeah, it's a game. He goes. Thank you for showing us. Maybe I make more. Yeah. And then my sister going to show it. How we make it too. And I got my two heels here. A on. different one. Or a ring. Cat grab. Let's cut out this one. I am a child of God. Grandma, this one is a different look. Yeah, that one's green. Mm 
So you can add some gems to these if you want, or gems? some flowers, which I still might when I, you know, if I'm going to use these to decorate them. Um, if I'm just going to send them to people, then I kind of want them to be flat, because the more poofy you make them, then of course the more postage you you are going to be spending. But so you can add some black ink to it. And I think it always adds some dimension when you add the black. It just does. It makes everything just kind of stand out. When you add, I never go the right direction. Mm -hmm. I know, I can never get it right. I doubt. There. So I think it adds a lot when you put the black ink around it. I always say I'm not going to do it, and then I do it to one, and then it's like, oh, I think it looks so much better with the ink around it. So then I usually end up going back and adding it to most all of them. Especially like on these where the letters, the writing is black, it makes the lettering pop out. Like on this one where the lettering is so small, where the word stickers are so small. If I add this black ink, it just makes it pop out. you guys well I am going to wrap this video up so those were just some quick little heart embellishments with stuff that I already had cut out and scrap papers really easy to throw together really fast to make you don't really have to put a whole lot of thought in them it's just layering papers together if you have to cut out um, your own and you don't have a die cut machine it's super easy to do you don't need to do the scalloped edges um, like this one doesn't have the scalloped edges and that still looks really cute even if you don't have the butterfly on it you could just do a smaller heart um, I'm going to do smaller ones that one's really cute if you want to add little crystals to it you can to make them a little bit more flashy however you want to do it just have fun all right so I hope you all have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and as always God bless bye bye